Hi everyone, this is another video I'm doing for you guys and also for Battery Clearing House. Let me tell you the company a little bit about them. I'm, I, I have no relation with them. I just happened I purchased this airline, this this battery from them. And they're very, very good. And then when you order it from them, you see it says a Battery Clearing House. Okay, let me show you where I got the batteries from. They're pretty good. And I like the batteries. I've been using them. So I have. I will show you guys. Those are the battery. This is how much I paid for it. Okay. This is where they come from. I bought several of them. They come out to be this way. And also. They're pretty. They come quick. And they did. So I purchased this thing last week. Uh, I think Wednesday or Tuesday they were here. And I start taking them apart. Okay, so this is battery Clarence house. This is where I get the stuff from. They have all the stuff you may get. Also, all right. So now I I purchased the battery. So they're all. Let me give you a brief. A brief. This is where they are. Okay. All right. So i have a couple of them that I, that i placed somewhere else before i'll show you the video for this wood now this is the this is the issue it's not really an issue because they will usually take me care of it when they come like this you see what i do you know i take my meter like this you can see my meter and i place it somewhere all right and can move this thing on the side there goes my meter there you guys can see the voltage now this is the back of it it's 32.9 yeah 32.9 if you see 32.9 the body is good okay when you see 32.9 the body is good so basically it's 39 points print something so now due to the fact i am not I don't need to do to do anything on this because I'm gonna I just test them and ship ship them to my home country, which is Haiti. So I gotta ship this out. So I put them on the side, put this one on the side. Okay. Alright, now this is the this is the other one that I have. Okay. Now among all the batteries that came in, this one this is something else okay it said something else okay you can see the voltage there you go this and this see what it says to you it told me three three volt okay three volt that's been the, the this battery is not good i suppose if we say 33 it says three now let's check a couple of couple 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 of them Okay, this will be the same. You should go like this. Okay, 0.5 volt. If I go like this, go to the next one. 0.5. Go like this to the next one. 0.1. So between those batteries, there's, there's some of them is dead. This is if you add all of them together. 0.13. So now. This is always, it's supposed to be 33 from this angle. Now, when you take this apart, okay, you move it on the other side, which is where you get the, 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 I think, the negative and the positive. I think this is the negative, this is the positive, okay? Now, this is what we got. Put it on this side. Can you see it? You guys can see it. Now, this is what I got. 3.9 so this is the negative okay you see 3.8 this battery is not good this is supposed to say this is supposed to say um 30 39 or 38 this is 3.8 okay let me show you how does it say 39 let me get another one so this battery is dead so but the clearing house is gonna send me another one. All right, so this is don't even attempt to fix this because they're not good. 
it's not gonna hold charges okay guys okay let me get another one post this thing get another one that's that is working this is another one that is working get the voltage This is how 39 look like. I found something in 38. 38 is fine. 30 is fine. But 4, <coughs> 3.8, it's not good. See, that's working. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. I bring this thing a little higher. You guys can see this. Okay, you see, thirty nine point seven. Now let me bring the other one, which is not too far from here. Okay, guys, so let me show you. This is the old battery. The one I just showed you earlier. You guys can see. Okay, this is the voltage in this. Three point nine. Okay, 2.8. This battery is this battery is not good. If I check the other one next to it, okay, you see the difference. See? 39.7 compared to uh -oh, 39.7 compared to this this thing right there four point four point something okay so this battery i gotta i gotta send this video a link to that video for to battery carrying house they're pretty accurate they 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 they're pretty good company it's a pretty good company so when they said they they honor it they will honor it okay this is dead put it on the side all right folks Okay, folks, this is an update. I have those battery there. Okay, I have six of them on top, 40 volt each. So I merge them together. So I'll probably be able to on this video and show you some the beginning of what I'm doing. I'm gonna merge a couple of them together so you guys can see it. Okay, folks, this is I have about 13 of them here. 13 of those batteries, as you can see. I put them together. I have previous video to show you how to do that. So, and I put the BMS in that. This is JDB BMS. The performance of them is not too bad at all. So I remember when I, I turn off my grid, or I turn my grid off and let this thing roll for, it give me a whole entire day without i started in the morning i mean i started at night time i think this 13 pack lasts me until two o'clock in the afternoon without charges so that's why i figure if i start at night time it lasts me two hours it lasts me 13 hours if i start another one 13 plus 13 hours is gonna give me at least at least um uh, 23 hours close to 24 hours so i'm gonna try to squeeze a for a 14th one here i'm gonna put 14 on top okay i have one cell here that's always that's always dropping i think cell number 13 which is one two three i think this is the number four, 13 is this one it's always dropping so i'm gonna try to fix that and then I'm gonna have a video, have this thing run 24 hours, no charge to see if it can give me a whole entire day. Okay. So I'm gonna have some more batteries there. This is an update, it tells you how I'm doing so. And also, I have one of the pack was not good, so I think they're gonna send me another one. So this is about, I have, 
I have about 13 pack in here, but those bags it's one plus three. Okay, so another way when I cut this thing in two, let me show you guys how probably I cut those two in two. Okay. I don't know if I have time to do that now. Maybe later on. So guys, this is the update. I'm about to fill this tab off. Next time you see another video of this, it's gonna be filled up. Okay, folks. And uh, this is the end of this video. The light is being produced by those. Uh, nice for you. Oh, let me show you my BMS is working. You see, now this one stopped charging. Which fish one is this? Oh, guys. This is BMS 2. That's, that's this pack. Okay. That's BMS 2. BMS 2. Usually that cell used to be the problem. Now it's no longer the problem. Now it's this cell. Cell number six used to be charging over overcharge. My cell number thirteen, as I explained to you before, thirteen is it's undercharged. When they're dropping, it's the one to drop first, then the thing shut itself off. Okay. Let me show you guys the other the other cell. Let me go in there and grab it again. And then grab number one. Grab number one. Okay, I grab number one. Uh oh. I got problem here. I'm at fifty-five. Probably one of those wires not connecting properly. I'm at 55, so this automatic stop charging. Most likely, probably one of no, no, some of the wires not connecting properly. This is number 10. I didn't even know that. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close this. This is not the type of video I'm supposed to do today. Let me switch the power off on the bottom one and turn off the top one off. Bottom. Oh, it's discharging. This is the right one. No, this is not number one. This is number one. Let me cut it out of there. Six. Now you get me number two. I did get the right one. Okay, discharge. All right. So now this is number two is discharging, right? Discharging. I can get out of there. Now bring number one, then stop it. Number one has problem. Number one. Okay, it's going wacko. I need to just stop it. There we go. You stop. It's one of those wires not working properly. You see, it's one of those wires. Now, wire number 10. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if this one is giving the problem. This is back to normal. I gotta fix the wires. This is they're all back to normals. Now I'm gonna switch this thing on. The charging, it's still charged. Damn, I got a lot of sun. 13. Sometimes the wires get messed up. Nice. Because the voltage is a little bit too high, now it's going to balance itself. Okay. It's always good to have a BMS. Now you see it shut itself off. Now, whenever this thing dropped to 60, to 2 point, 2 point something, 2.55, going to start charging again. Okay, guys. Uh, it just happened you see this thing. This is an update. 
of this thing, how it works. The reason the wire is loose because I'm not completed. I haven't sealed them yet because I'm going to add more in there. Okay, folks. That's the end of this video.